everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, folks, so a simple unboxing video I have here of my latest pickup that I got for 2001 A Space Odyssey. And as you can see, this is number seven of the Film Vault range. Now, in case you're not aware of it, they brought out two last month. We got Jaws and the Shawshank Redemption. And I've done videos for both, and I will leave links in the description below if you are interested in checking them out. And I hope you do. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, this one I was genuinely excited to get my hands on because I think it's by far the best artwork I've seen on this Film Vault range. And uh, really, really looking forward to taking you around this one and showing you everything that's inside it. Now, when it comes to this release, I'm happy to say that there wasn't too many problems when it comes to damage. It is on the usual suspect again, the crystal. There's a bit of a crease there, you'll see it yourselves now in a second, but it's only a small crease, um, nothing near as bad as my Shawshank release that had actually a, a bit of a rip where the crystal was, so I had to leave that back. Thankfully, I was able to get a replacement, and I won't say it was perfect. It still had a crease where the crystal was, but it was nothing near as bad as the one I actually originally had. So, um, yeah, so up next we have Apollo 13. Now, I was hoping to actually put that video out this week, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen because it hasn't been dispatched yet. As a matter of fact, they're saying that I'm not going to get it until next week. Now, I'm hoping that's going to be okay because whatever it is with Apollo 13, there seems to be some issues with Amazon UK. It seems to be in and out of stock. I don't know what's going on with it. And I really do hope they honor my pre-order because, wow. I pre-ordered it so, so long ago. Now, as for the movie itself, you know what? I It's one of the movies I really had to grow to love. Uh, I When I watched it when I was younger, I simply did not understand it. But I stuck with it. I'm very, very persistent when it comes to movies. And I stuck with it. And thankfully I have because it is a sci-fi masterpiece. And uh, probably the crown jewel of Stanley Kubrick's collection. Now, the one thing I will say is, and this might be a very unpopular opinion, but in my household uh, growing up, uh, we actually preferred the sequel, which is 2010, uh, the year we make Contact. And all the questions that they left hanging with 2001, Peter Himes done a wonderful job answering them. And it's a very fateful sequel. And yeah, we always had a fun time with this movie. So whenever I watch uh, 2001 now, I can't, I can't watch it without watching the sequel after. It's kind of like Halloween 1 and 2 to me now. I can't watch one, watch one without watching the other. And uh, you know what? If you haven't checked out 2010, Please do check it out. I think it's probably one of the most underrated sequels ever made. And uh, it complements this movie very, very well. Now, in terms of special features on this, is are absolutely well covered there as well. You've got four featurettes. There's a few uh, audio commentaries in there as well. So there is loads and loads of special features to enjoy. And the 4K transfer on this is definitely one of the best you're ever likely to see. The Blu-ray already looked amazing. And when this got announced on 4K, I was somewhat hesitant about, you know, I was kind of going, how can they top what they've done with that Blu-ray? But I'm, I'm happy to report they not, managed, not only did managed to outdo the Blu-ray, but they took strides over that Blu-ray. That's how amazing this movie looks on 4K. And like I said, if you have not checked this out on 4K, uh, make it your mission to do so. I think you're going to be absolutely blown away by its picture quality. Right, folks, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to take us around this one. I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Right, so here we go. So as you can see, the first thing you will notice is the clear slip on it. So I'm not going to spend too much time. I want to be able to remove this off and give you a proper look at the artwork because uh, it, deserve a, it deserves a proper look. But as you can see, when you do remove this clear slip there, the actual writing down the bottom 2001 at Space Odyssey is part of the slip itself. So uh, I'll, show, I'll be back to that artwork now very, very soon. So there we go. That is the spine of it there. As you can see, you've got number seven. And if I flip it around to the opposite side, it's the exact same. And unfortunately, the ratings, are, they're not stickers. They are part of the slip. And then I'm going to turn you to the back here and show you everything that's in the back of it. And as you can see, it shows all the contents that's inside this one. And there is quite a bit in there. And uh, really looking forward to taking you around it. Right, so that is the clear slip itself. So I'm going to remove it. And uh, let's get on with this artwork. And uh, wow. That's all I can say. Wow. It, it is easily the best artwork I've seen from the, villain, uh, the Film Vault range. There is so much going on. 
you know, you got the Space Station 5 there in the middle. You got the Monolith. You got the Humanoid Apes there as well. You know, the color scheme re represents the ending of it. You got the planet itself. There is just so much. And whoever came up with this concept has done an absolutely spectacular job on it. I'm blown away by it. But as you can see, when you go onto the spines of it, the spines kind of continuate that artwork. And then when I turn around to the back, of course, they have a scene from the movie. And of course, the credits down the bottom. Now, the only kind of gripe that I have with the Film Vault Rangers, I would love to see them put alternate uh, artwork or even the original artwork onto the back of the box. I think that would be beautiful. And then you can display it any way you want. Uh, I think that would have been a great idea, as a matter of fact. So, uh, right, that is the back. Nothing on the tops of the bottom of it. So that is the main artwork. And uh, yeah, absolutely blown away by it. So I'm going to take this here, and as you can see, it is magnetically sealed, as every other, just like every other release. And uh, I'm going to open it up, and of course you will get a quote from the movie, and as you can see there, uh, the mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardise it, and that is Hal that said that. So, uh, and I love the artwork there you get on it as well. And as you can see, you can sort of make out that, those magnets as well, on the spine there. So here we go, so the first thing I'm going to start with is, of course, the envelope. And uh, I'll show you then everything else. Actually, you know what? I'll just quickly show you how everything sits in there. And as you can see, it does sit in quite perfectly. But as I said at the start of this video, you can sort of see the crease up there now. It's on nearly every single one of my releases from the Film Vault range. And the heartbreaking thing about it is it's a simple problem to fix. But for some strange reason, they can't be bothered to do so. And I'm hoping someday they will. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back to that now very, very soon. So here we go, this is the envelope that you get inside, you got log uh, Logic Memory Center and at the back of it I'm sure there's probably going to be another quote, they seem to be doing that with every single one of them, it is yet. Yeah? I know I've made some very poor decisions and that's Hal again. So that is the envelope, is there anything on the spines of the tops and bottom? No. So right, I'm going to open it up, let's see what we are dealing with. So right, I think that's everything that's inside it. So put that to a side. So the first thing you will see is two small posters. I'll show you them now in a second. I am going to show uh, the postcards. And I have to tell you, they do have this incredible high gloss finish to them. Uh, every one of them has a quote from the movie as well. That's representing the scene that you're seeing. So, um, right, I'm going to get through these as quickly as I can. But um, they are very well made. And the one thing I will say when it comes to Warner Brothers uh, with their postcards, they do a great job in them. Uh, they look very deluxe. So, right, that is the quote in the back. Uh, this is a movie I actually need to kind of revisit. It's been, uh, it's been a long, long time. Uh, I think when I picked up the Titans Occult release of it was the last time I watched this, and my memory is a little bit hazy on it. So, you get around maybe eight postcards on this one. And, uh, yeah, some very iconic shots from the movie itself. So... And of course, I've left probably one of the most iconic ones to last. Here we go. So that is all the postcards that you get inside it. So all that's actually left to show is the posters. So, you know, I've seen a lot more, kind of bit more effort gone into the kind of trickers that you get on other editions. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, that one. I thought there'd be a bit more to it. But here we go. This is the poster artwork. As you can see, it's the original artwork for 2001. And when I flip it around... You get another bit of artwork there, and this one absolutely looks beautiful. Really does. So that is the double-sided poster you get inside it. And then the next one is uh, the poster of the newly commissioned artwork. Now, the paper on this one feels a bit like the Arrow video paper that you get on the likes of the Dario Argento sets. Uh, kind of has that, you know, that kind of tough paper. Where this one here uh, feels a bit more flimsier. But uh, yeah, that is the original poster artwork. There's nothing on the other side. It's just a single-sided postcard. So I will bring this box back in, and we will start with the we'll start with the discs now. So here we go. Of course, it was always going to be Hal that they were going to put on this. Just much like the, the 2001 release. The, oh, sorry, the Titans of Cult release they've done, uh, and it looks great. It really does. And then right around to the back, you got Hal 9000, and there is a bit of spot glossing going on there. I don't know how well you can pick it up. Uh, sorry for my fingerprints still, but uh, there is a nice bit of spot gloss into it. So, uh, right, open this up. And here we go. You've got the, the space station there again. And, of course, you got a couple of stills 
from the movie as well on each end. So there we go. So turn it around and of course you've got your two discs, your 4K is on the left, your Blu-ray is on the right. As you can see it's, it's forming uh, 2001. Of course you got another quote as well. There's so many quotes through the entire film vault range it's frightening. And uh, yeah that's the opposite side. And I only have to remove one disc, there's only one disc that actually shows a bit of artwork and it is that one there. Uh, the behind the other disc is just what you see on the left hand side. So there we go folks, that is the actual discs themselves, so I just want to quickly slot that back in, hopefully with no issues. There we go. And last but not least, of course, is the crystal. And uh, let's see what it looks like. So here we go. Uh, I don't know how well this camera is picking it up, but as you can see, I have 2,291 of 6,000. So not quite as limited as the previous releases. I think the Jaws one might have been limited to around maybe 3,000, 4,000. So there's a few more on this one. Of course, you got the hull there kind of etched into the crystal as well. Uh, I've, I'm always praising these crystals. I love the look of them. I think it's a very unique way to actually show your, your, your number off. And uh, I really would love to see them continue this but like i said try and find a better way to harness them in without doing damage to the box itself so there you have it folks that is the crystal that is everything that's inside this release and i know it was kind of short if you know when it comes to the kind of trickets that you see inside it but the release itself the artwork is absolutely exquisite and i'm so so happy uh, i actually did pick it up in the end and thankfully it actually lived up to the pictures itself Right folks, so there you have it. That is 2001 A Space Odyssey and yeah, I was not kidding with the artwork on that. It is absolutely exquisite. So like I said, my Apollo 13 edition, fingers crossed, I will have it early next week and I will be doing a video on it and I'm looking forward to showing that one off. I'm, it's shaping up to be a, a very nice release as well. And I have to tell you, when you do see this collection all stacked together on your shelf, it is a sight to behold, and I'm hooked now. I need to see this through, but I'm hoping that they continue the movies that they've been bringing out. You know, they're all masterpieces, and uh, I really do hope they continue that trend. Uh, we'll know, I'm sure, in the next couple of months what the next batch is going to be. Fingers crossed they will be quite special as well. So there you have it, folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of this edition of it. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.